Hey guys, it's Mavlo here once again, and today I decided to kind of talk a bit about how I go ahead and craft wands. It's largely how I craft uh, items in general, but today it's more specifically about wands. Now, as I have uh, just shown you a disclaimer of, it's pretty not worth doing, so bear in mind when you go out for this foolish adventure that you really shouldn't unless you can afford to. Um, before you start crafting wand, you more or less have to accept the fact that you are losing all of that currency and the wand owes you nothing. So do not expect to get a tyrannical or a merciless or a good regal or a great wand in general. For every 100 people that actually try and craft, one of them will get a nice physical wand. Everyone else will probably be losing money. That said, I will show you how I go ahead and try to craft wands and what mods you're looking for, when you should regal, when you should not do anything, and hopefully you can turn into a wand something like this one here. I of course had to flip off my entire view base after this because they were telling me, don't craft a wand, you're a fucking idiot. And I'm just saying, I'm doing it for the fun of it, basically. It's not worth it, but it's goddamn fun. So here we go. So to start off with, I'll show you what that wand um, we just crafted looks like and why it's really kind of good and hard to craft. Um, first of all, it's got a flaring mod on it. That's extremely important for wands because they attack fast and have a really low base physical damage. So flaring is actually, or just the flat fizz sort of thing, is actually very important for your um, main actual output of physical damage. Then it hit Cruel, which is the third highest tier of physical percent damage, and it's actually very good um, compared to most other roles, because Tyrannical goes another 10-15% to 15 higher, and Merciless goes about 20-30% to 30 higher, so it's not actually a big deal that we hit Cruel. Cruel is really good. Then you finish it off with Multimod. Multimod is a suffix, which leaves me with two suffixes, one prefix to roll, which is attack speed, crit, and spell damage. Spell damage because Crown of Eyes is actually a very good choice to use for these types of wands, and there's no real actual good other prefix to put onto a wand like this. So if you're not going to put on a nice spell power roll like this with your Crown of Eyes, you basically just YOLO exalt it. Or you could put on some shitty lightning damage to attacks, whatever. So that's what an end wand should look like that's perfect. You can't really expect to get much better than this, bear in mind. It's extremely lucky that I hit this as is. And um, yeah, this thing will go for 20, 30x, something like that. But don't hold your breath looking for one of these. Now to start off with, you need a eye level 84 wand if you want the maximum output from your wand. To check eye level, hit alt above the item, and there it says item level 84. So you start off with some blue wands, item level 84. You don't have to have 84 though. Um, bear in mind, 83 is just fine. What you're looking for is Merciless, high enough to be able to roll Merciless, and Dictators. But you go for eye level 84 just in case you want to hit the Runic mod. Because even when you're crafting physical and elemental wands, hitting a Runic is actually, you know, still worth proceeding to craft. You give it an org if it's something nice, you give it a regal if it's something nice, you can actually make good currency there. So typically you go for an 84, but if you really don't care about that, an 83 is what you're looking for. Right there, to hit the Merciless. Once you've got those wands, um, you need a shitload of alterations, augments, regals, scours, not necessarily scours, and you go ham. Now, when you're going for a physical wand, what you're looking for is... Let's go back to... Excuse that. Um, what you're looking for is basically cruel, tyrannical, or merciless. Bloodthirst is too low to actually try and work off of. Don't bother with that. If you've got a cruel, I would not recommend regaling it. I would say augment it, and if it's got a decent org, then regal it. And by decent org, I mean crit, attack speed, maybe even crit multi. And then regal it. Uh, if you have a tyrannical or a merciless by themselves, just go for the regal. Do not chance bricking it with your augment. 
is if you just go for the regal and get a nice sort of suffix or a prefix, you can then fill in the gaps with a multi-mod. Whereas if you get a bad org, chances are you're already screwed. That said, if you have a tyrannical or a merciless with um, a bad suffix, it's probably worth still regaling, just in case you hit something like a flaring. So if you then hit a flaring as well, you can um, scrap the suffixes on the wand with metacrafting and start from scratch basically with those two mods and it's absolutely huge. So as far as fizz wands go, you are looking for cruel tyrannical merciless and likewise you will straight up regal a dictators, straight up regal an emperors, probably augment a conquerors and augment a champions and then proceed with a regal depending on if you think it's worth it at those points. Um, if you hit a flaring, you will also just plain regal and hope for a good prefix or suffix to continue crafting. If you don't get it, then start again. If you get a tempered razor sharp, probably augment them and see where it takes you. By that I mean if it gets a good critical strike roll, anything from 25 or higher, 25 to 38 is fine, or an attack speed roll. Um, pretty much anything from 9 to 25 is fine with the attack speed rolls, because then you can fill out the rest with a multi-mod if you hit a good regal. So as far as fizz ones go, that's what you're looking for. It's really hard to roll, so fizz ones are actually pretty damn hard to make, and don't expect to be able to make one. Now the next um, sort of wand you're looking for is going to be a elemental wand. That'll be the next hardest tier of wand to craft. So it, physical is the hardest, elemental is kind of mid-tier, and then cast on crit wands are usually pretty goddamn easy because they don't require much. Now for the elemental ones, it's not really that worth crafting because usually you can go out and buy one from someone with the right stuff you're looking for, pretty cheap and pretty easy. But typically what you're going for is a top roll of an element, so entombing, uh, cremating, or electrocuting, and then also something else nice. So if it's got um, any of these crits, or any of the attack speeds, then you regal them. You never regal an elemental roll by itself, you never regal a suffix by itself. You have to pretty much have a good elemental roll and a good suffix to justify a regal. And then it doesn't matter what happens with that wand, if you've got a good crit roll and a good one elemental roll, that's good enough to actually start off wanding with in an elemental build. But for a real wand, what you're looking for is then to also get a good regal in terms of another element. So a high tier, probably three plus of another element. And then maybe you can consider multi-crafting it, but typically you just leave the wand as a T1, like a T1 uh, crit, and then maybe just roll a nice master mod for, you know, something else. So another element, or uh, you could go a multi crit multi roll. The element rolls aren't very strong is the problem compared to the actual rolls you can get. So it's usually better off to just go something like a nice crit multi roll. Um, so those are pretty easy as well. And then what we're looking for in terms of a cast on crit wand is something like this guy. This one was a pretty nice roll in the end. It hit a nice high spell power and had a decent crit. And then I regaled that cold damage to spells. You then just put attack speed on it, maybe crit multi. And it's about as good as you can hope for out of a wand. Now these aren't very... Um, in demand and they're not very expensive because there's a lot of them out there but if you're going to roll one of these basically any good spell power um, anything from encounters upwards you would aug as well uh, if it's just runic by itself you can probably justify a plain regal because then you might be able to make a good actual casting wand out of it but casting ones are really not flavor of the month right now thanks to daggers and whirling blades um, yeah, basically, get any of these, hit an org, probably hit a regal regardless of what happens. Um, hit a lich, or an archmage, or a mage, hit an org, if it's decent, probably go for a regal. If not, probably keep going and start again. 
Um, beyond that, if you get any sort of these, the top tier of damage to spells, probably go for an org. If it's a really nice org, then regal. I wouldn't bother if it's anything lower than the T1 of this type of mod. Because it's really not that strong compared to a starting mod of a nice big spell power. So beyond that, um, yeah, like I said, it's not really worth crafting these. You can probably go out and buy one. What you're actually crafting for, for a wand, is... If you want to have some fun crafting, making your own wand, and if exactly what you're looking for isn't really out in the market at the moment. So what I'm talking about there is I wanted to make a Chaos Wand to begin with. Big Chaos Roll, which I think needs an eye level 83. Let me check on that. Eye level 83 is the only starting point where you can get Chaos Rolls. So there's basically no Chaos Wands on the market right now. If I want to play with a Chaos Wand, I need to make my own. Now there's no real good use for it yet. I'm trying to make a Chaos build, but bear in mind that's not necessarily going to be that good. I'm just trying to fuck around with it myself. What I'm saying is you try and roll something like this if you can't buy it yourself. Because buying your own Fizz Wand is much more cost effective. Buying your own Ellie Wand is probably much more cost effective. Rolling your own Cast on Crit Wand, that's okay. Typically what I'll do with a wand is I'll think I want to play a wander and I'm going to roll a wand. Whatever that wand turns out, what's the first nice wand I end up hitting, I will probably play around that. So if I get a really nice crit elemental wand, I'll roll an elemental wander. If it turns out to be a really nice fizz wand, then I'll base a character around that fizz wand. If all I can do is a cast on crit wand, maybe I'll do that. I haven't yet come to that because I've always made a decent enough wand to actually play with. Like this guy. So I'm going to be making a nice fizz wander around that with crown of eyes and some other shit. Honestly, um, though I will mention that right now exalts on Parandus SC to alterations are actually not a bad ratio for crafting. It's 1 to 800 I think. Might be a little less by now. But if you're going to craft, now's not a bad time to do it. So you've got to keep in mind that if you go are going to craft or if you th are thinking about crafting, you've got to see if the ratios are right. Because I think it was during like Dark Shrine League, it was like 1 to 300 alterations to an exalt, something like that. Which makes it just a terrible league for crafting. So you're not really going to justify crafting a wand, a dagger, whatever it is. You're much better off just using your exalts and buying shit that's already crafted. Whereas right now, 1 to 800, you can afford to have a bit of fun with your alterations and uh, throw away an exalt if you have some laying around. Anyway, uh, yeah, like I said, I don't recommend doing it. If you want to, good luck. I hope you roll something like this and have some fun doing it. This guide is helpful for you, and um, as always, I'm Mathel, and I'll see you next time. Raise your fist, rank a fist. See you later, guys.